Welcome back guys today our survival this is in the commando and well guys last time we left off at the survival base of Nawaku's nets we found Sasha she's in a she's in a really bad shape we need to get to that camp over there it's a bit far away so I have repaired my vehicle I have collected gasoline let's take this tent down okay let's manage our weight a bit Let's take this down. Alright, alright, let's drop the scraps. Where's my bag? Where's my bag? Okay, where's my bag to be honest? Yeah, let's see. This is where it okay. I can't use this because of the ribs injury that I got last time. This use the bag hopefully. Okay, one hundred two. Hmm. Let's see, I can drop this. Let's drop this a bit more. I don't really need vodka for anything. Let's drop this by type by weight. Let's repair this. Right. Alright. We are good to go. So let's go down to that can. There's water in there. Yeah, I know I can cross water in my car. Let's go here. Okay, there's already hurt here. I don't know making this can. Mode number 32, Sasha's condition deteriorated, her head, her head lolled backwards, her breathing grew heavy and uneven, and her skin lost all color. I need to give, I need to stop and give her first aid, so it would be too late to help her. I pulled the car into thickets on the bank of the river Chumash. I carefully lifted Sasha and laid her on a mat. She was unconscious, I wet her lips with water and took stock of her injuries. The bullet was through and through, I disinfected and dressed both wounds. Then I went back to the car for my gun. The enemy could arrive at any second. Need to help Sasha. Where is Sasha? This is Sasha. I need a fire and a tent. Oh, uh, can. Okay, 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 okay. I need firewood. Let's go here. Let's chop some wood. 25, okay. Let's pick it up. Oh, no, I can't pick it up. Me, let's drop this off for now. Okay, let's start a fire with the lighter that Gina gave us back at Tula. I have never used it. This is my first time using it. Up. Okay, let's see. Note number 33. Sasha turned to Sasha, Sasha started to toss and turn moaning. She was muttering something under her breath. I listened closely, but I couldn't make out her words. Then she fell asleep again. Need to Okay, she's sleeping. I'm going to sleep too. Hmm. I don't think, uh, need to check how much time it will take for my wound to heal. Okay, three days. Huh? Let's drink this. Let's eat this. Need another fire. Okay, she needs a lot of fires apparently. Let's chop 10 wood. Hopefully, I can carry it without the backpack. Yeah, I can. Let's go back. Let's start a fire with a normal lighter. Let's use the bandage, okay? Sasha was moaning again. This time she opened her eyes a little. I bent over her. Sasha, can you hear me? Sasha, breathe heavily. Close her eyes again. Okay, she is resting. Hopefully, this is not the final end of her. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Burned out fire. I'm really excited to see what happens. Fried snake. Hey, I don't have snake meat with me. Yeah, I don't have snake meat. But apparently there is some automatically here. Okay, let's make another fire. I'm running out of fires really fast. Let's feed her. Let's read the next note. Can we? Okay. Talk. Sasha wasn't moaning anymore. She now she had fallen into a strange lethargy with her eyes wandering back and forth at random. Can we talk? Sasha got tired of looking at me and sighed heavily. About what? About what? Maybe about how you wanted to kill me and I saved you from a fiery squad. Sasha turned away. Not a great topic. That's what I thought. So if you don't want to bring that up, tell me about what happened to you. What happened to me? Well, first mom gave birth to me. Oh, come on. Quit joking around. Tell me what happened after you killed the bandits at your grandfather's weird. 
I can't remember you ever being interested in my life before such a joke I had. Fine, the no opposing people took me into the camp, but they didn't let me fight. They even took Grandpa's gun. I went to the major and, but he said there was no place for a girl among these fighters. He assigned me to, to domestic duty. Next, it was really disgusting. The work in the kitchen. I refused to work. The girl started holding, holding a grudge against me, and I compl- and complained about my laziness to the leader. But the pastor just said, "That's okay. She'll come around after a few days without a rash." And after that, then then they attacked us at night. A dozen people had already been wounded by the time the alarm got up. Several bandits got to the gate. The girls were scared out of their wits, but I knocked out one of the scumbags. Took his gun and started shooting the rest to defend off the attack. We fought them off. After that, I was given my gun back. They let me go on hunting expeditions, and they even enlisted me in a combat squad. The squad commander was Osi Yapo's son. Next, I got on well with the squad. They told me they respected me. That I was one of them, and I, an idiot, was throwing myself in front of bullets to show them all I, what I was made of. Such a clash of teeth. God, I was so stupid. Next. Long story short, the fight ended quickly. We came up against the Atkins. Yeah, they ambushed us, but there were more of us, and we were better armed. But that cowardly one was really ordered us to retreat, even though he saw that I had been cut off from the rest of the squad. Next, I smoked four of them, but then my ammo ran out and they grabbed me. They wanted to kill me on the spot, but the leader stopped them. He told me to bring me to the base. Boris never told me that you were abandoned by your own. Yeah, right. Like he'd ever say a word of his precious son soon. You know, he quiet. The sound of a gunshot came from the direction of Noah Kuznis. Then another one. I grabbed my gun and climbed the nearest hill, where I appeared in the distance. The grey wasteland stretched out before me, as lifeless as ever. When I turned to Sasha, she was already asleep, you were in peace. Okay, we are gaining a lot of XP right now. Hmm. Machine gun damage, I'm not going to take night vision. It's literally useless. Okay. Armor durability. Okay, I'm going to take machine gun damage. Machine guns already do a lot of damage. It's better if they do the more. I think that Sasha will be back to normal very soon. She's got a surprisingly robust construction and the medicines are helping too. Okay, let us sleep in peace. Let's see if we can talk with her again. Okay, another fire. How many fires do you need, lady? I'm overloaded. God. Let's go over here. Let's chop some wood. Yeah, I think this will be enough to keep our Sasha girl warm here. Let's drink some water and see all of this. Let's feed her something. Okay, let's talk to her. Let's talk to her. Sasha was much better. She was able to stand and even walk while leaning on my arm for support. You still haven't told me everything. Or at least enough that she agreed. She agreed tiredly. They took me to the Akin base, locked me up. I thought they were going to force themselves on me, but they didn't. The first week a girl came every day to bring food to me. I didn't see anybody else next. At then at last the leader came to see me, Ruslan. I found out later that he was once a political prisoner. He was quiet for a long time, but then out of the blue, he asked me what I did wrong to make my comrades abandon me. He talked to me about the skirmish. Yeah, he said that I had guts, that I was worth ten of his fighters, that he would never do what Vasily had done and abandon a lone soldier against a whole squad. He said the Novakuznis camp had every chance of victory, but they lost the nerve. He said a lot of things like that. I stayed quiet. I wanted to contradict him, but did he pressure you? No, no. He just moved and talked. He came back the second day. He said that my people refused to pay the ransom for me, and that all he had asked for was a couple of guns and a crate of cans. He said there hadn't been a single rescue attempt, and more stuff like that. After that, he bought me food. He bought my food himself, much bigger portions than. What our people got, and it tasted better. Did you not see he was trying to turn you? I did see, but you know what? He said was true, and I saw that too. He came to me every day for a week. He told me about him and his family, and 
then about some of the other fighters then i told him about myself he really listened to me he asked me questions you should trust him no not then but i could see that he understood me he understands me far more than any of those come from the whose nets the ones that used me and threw me away like trash is despicable despicable thug he's got the blood of innocent people on his hands such a lot of scornful in response innocent people innocent people where have you seen these innocent people or oh, is it what you call the lazy greedy stupid sleep only bleed uselessly as they slaughtered next look around there's no country left there's no safe pen where you could chew your curd in peace and grow your wool nice and thick for shearing we are in the woods and here you are either sheep or wolf and you wanted to be wolf or bandit no dad we are not bandits there's something much more interesting what you're talking about i didn't finish a week later one of your innocents were hauled into my room was silly and two other people from no coolness next Bruce then made them an offer tell him everything they knew about Stepnoy the people the ass and the weak spots in the fortifications and in exchange for them would let them go he had to finish speaking when those bombs pale and trembling told him everything and Bruce then released them yes but they didn't make it out in time i took Bruce's knife and cut their throats next boss even killing the most of the murder grandpa wasn't as sweet as the skill i watched the three of them bleed out and I felt very happy strong it wasn't blood lust or revenge for the betrayal it was justice that's crazy that's dead raslan came back and laid a gun in front of me he said that he wasn't going to feed me for free anymore is that he did need prisoners what he needed were fighters he gave me the choice of joining him or being taken back to no cousins and i made my choice i'm happy with the choice it doesn't matter what i say you still want to send you wrong i can understand where you're coming from you wanted respect and recognition you wanted to be free and your new friends gave you that respect recognition but that was just at the start later they gave me so much more things that i would never have gotten from you know cool these guys what won't i understand the difference between living and surviving such as i clean previously the word mission doesn't mean anything to you when our band is there we are calling as we reaping the rotten remnants of the old world of the face of the earth and building a new one one that's much better and fairer hmm. yeah big plans lady isn't that a little ambitious there are only three or four of you left no there are many of us thousands and soon there will be even more of course there are thousands of bandits spread across the map of this game across the map of russia and all the other countries in the game you know There are different types of bandits. Bandits in camps, bandits that roam the wasteland, the bandits in the forests. You know, a lot of bad guys in the game. But we can't exactly call them bad guys. We can call them colonizers. Such as mugged suddenly, and anyway, three or four people are capable of some things behind you. I turned around too and stood a few meters away from me, aiming at my head. Are you going to kill me? No, you saved me. Even though I was trying to kill you, so will you? You must see. It's only fair fairness about all. Just then, help me. Next, one of the men had such a stand. An engine rumbled in the thickets, and an old UAZ emerged onto the rocky bank. We are square. Life for life. Now go, go far away, far away that we never cross paths again. I don't want to see you ever again or hear from you. Next, Rustling carefully lifted Sasha into the car, and then got in next to drive with the third bandit. Was about to shut the door, but Sasha did open. I will never forget. and i will never forgive you for leaving mom and me if you hadn't none of this would have happened do you get that none of this next 1000 xp the uaz don't and drove off taking my sasha away no that was someone else in the car my sasha was gone just like galaya they were both dead i got the small rag door out of my backpack that was all i had left to remember my wife and daughter my hands reached for my gun no no way so sad it's just another way to run from my responsibilities it would be another stupid and grave action in a life littered with them no i won't do it despite everything i am going to keep living i am going to live and search for my place in this new world well there are a lot of places you can go a lot of quests a lot of awesome people a lot of bandits a map full of bad guys and a map full of good guys you know lots of left lots left to fight for you know for me mm-hmm. by the way guys 
I have a just a little bit of nostalgia that I want to share with you. You know, uh, when this game was like two or three years old, you know, this game was launched in 2016. I started playing from 2020, and I started this account recently. You know, so the game was like two or three years old, and I remember, I remember that Sasha's Quest was back at Murder Man's as the arrow points to right now, you know, there was a air raid shelter in Moran Mansk and there were a lot of people still uh, that were living there, a lot of skeletons, we found a lot of good items there, so that's just a bit of nostalgia I wanted to share with you guys, but you know, the next station for my journey, maybe I'm going to go down south to Testino Grad, maybe when I make some good armor to our goods, then to Birubir Zan, you know. There's a lot of things left to do in this game, a lot of vehicles left to make, make a lot of items left to make, a lot of quests, a lot of bad guys to get. But for now, I want to thank all of you guys who have watched my video, who have come this far into the video. If you haven't, please consider subscribing to my channel and leave a comment down below. See you guys next time.